Right, if you've just got around one month left until your A-level chemistry exam and you definitely want that A-star, then this video is for you. There's not that much time left, but no matter what position you're in, it's not too late to start studying properly and try and get the best grades possible. These were the grades I got in my A-levels in case they make you trust me more. Throughout sixth form, I probably found chemistry the toughest and even getting 81% in the final exam wasn't enough because the boundaries specifically for chemistry for A-stars are so high and this particular year it was 83%. But let's not waste any more time. A lot of you have been asking for this video, so let's get into the tips. Tip number one is just a couple resources that I wanna mention, namely Chemrevise and ChemGuide. Chemrevise, for basically every exam board, basically has a set of end game condensed notes on everything for every topic in like three to four pages max. The notes are actually so good and easy to read that I wouldn't blame you if you didn't feel like you needed to make your own notes anyway. I would recommend in that case only making them for the really tricky parts of the course that you really don't understand. And in those cases, a lot of the time I remember referring to chem guide because that has much more in-depth explanations and really good simple diagrams. These are obviously on top of your standard PMT and Save My Exams websites where you can find all the topic questions you could possibly need and even notes if the other two websites still aren't enough for you. Tip number two. Learn the big multi-step calculation questions back to front so you don't even need to think about them. The maths and chemistry is pretty easy, especially for most of you because you do A-level maths. If you can do that maths, you can definitely do A-level chemistry maths. The questions really aren't that different year to year. It's just different reactions with different compounds, but you're basically solving the same steps every single time. Take advantage of that and learn every single possible calculation question that they could ask you. You can only make sure you've nailed a specific type of calculation question by solving tons and tons of problems similar to them. Knowing all the formulae you're gonna need goes without saying. So just make sure you can do all the calculations because if you know what you're doing, those are some of the easiest like five or six marks that you can pick up in the paper. Tip number three, chemistry is one of the most memorizing subjects so don't stop testing yourself. It's too much content to rely on being able to just look at a set of notes and think you've memorized it all. I can't tell you what the best way of testing yourself is. You need to find out what works for you by yourself. But what I can say is that you need to study each topic often and space out the times that you test yourself on it. I made sure I was implementing space repetition into my studying by just making a timetable and just saying on which days I wanted to have each topic studied. Tip number four. Memorize mark schemes. I can't remember, but I probably said this already in the video, that chemistry is one of the most repetitive subjects. Not just in the questions that they ask, but in the points that they look for every time in the mark scheme. One of the most OP strats is just getting the mark schemes and putting them onto flashcards and memorizing exactly the points the examiners are looking for. Chemistry has some of the most precise marking points, so you wanna make sure you're saying exactly what the examiners want you to say. Don't risk it by making up a bunch of waffly answers that the examiner has to mark wrong because you said like, one point that was incorrect, meaning that your whole answer is rubbish. And finally, tip number five, do not neglect practicals. Practicals aren't just the annoying part of the course that you just need to pass. They ask questions on practicals all the time, even if it's not in the final paper, which is a paper just on the practicals of the spec. So what I did was get a set of notes dedicated for giving an in-depth diagram and a couple annotations for every single practical in the course. Write the observations, label everything fully, because those are like the two things they mainly ask about when they ask anything to do with the practical. If there's a color change, learn it. If there's a piece of equipment you need to carry it out, learn it. But yeah, those are pretty much my five tips for A-level chemistry. A lot of you have been asking for this, so hopefully this helped. Let me know if you guys have any other questions because I'll hang out in the comments below. Subscribe, drop a like, good luck in your exams, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.